Hi, in this video we'll look into the simulation activity regarding the force, mass and acceleration relationship. So please make sure you have finished these worksheets already according to the instruction given on your own and then you can check my answers. So if you haven't done that, pause the video now and do it first. A few moments later Alright, so here is a simulation and we have to choose not the net force. We have done it already and we'll be doing acceleration, the last tap. So I think the first thing that I would do is to set up all display. Then you can know the situation better. And then what we have to do is adjust the friction to be none. So then uh, you can see the row become icy. So it's like, I mean, it's not really icy, but then uh, just you know, imagine there's no friction, then probably it is icy. And then we have to set a corresponding force and to find acceleration. So I guess we'll stick with the box that we have, which is 50 kg. And then we have to adjust the force. So yeah, I think that's what we get. And then, okay, we just have to find acceleration, right? Acceleration is one, simply. So that you can see the speed got picking up, it's accelerating. So let's just put down 1.00. Okay, and I think that I think that's pretty much it. You can go for 100, then you can get two. All right, you can see it increased slightly faster. So 2.00, and then when you have okay, well, cause the robot can't catch up with the box so. So that's why, but then it's okay, we can do it again. And then this time we go for 150, oh, without friction. Okay, so it's three, and in fact, I think you can guess the rest. 200 should be four, 250 should be five, right? Each time it, we increase by 50, oops. Sorry, okay, we actually can do the other way around. So you can see, uh, now it's 10 because I apply 500 Newton so I can do 1 2 meter per second square with 100 and then next 150 will be 3 and then 200 Newton will be 4 meter per second square and yes this is what we predicted so uh, you can see now the acceleration is much much greater and so that's why the speed got changed over time so quickly Okay, so from this then uh, we can say the relationship is whenever we increase by 50 Newton, the acceleration increased by one. We could also say that uh, F, right, the force is actually proportion to A. Okay, so the symbol here looks like alpha is uh, meaning that it is proportion Okay, and if you haven't learned that in mathematics, uh, you can also take this as F equals to K times A. A is, of course, acceleration here, and K is a arbitrary constant. Okay, so multiply with a certain K. So here, um, then it would be how much? It will be have a factor of 50, simply. Okay, so that's uh, what we have. All right, test number two, um, we have to set the friction as zero again. Okay, and then we now change the mass instead. So we have to set the apply force as 200. Okay, 200, here we go. And then acceleration is four. Okay, 4.00. And then we'll try 100 gram. So um, is there any key? Not not really. Okay, never mind. Okay, hundred. So I can do this one, and then two hundred newton. So that will be two. One fifty. Okay, I can do it quick. So this is one fifty altogether. The acceleration is one point three three, and then when the mass is. 200 oh I can actually take it oh I'm so stupid I can just take it off and then it will stop moving right why okay why I didn't know that 200 and um, 200 kg and then I apply 200 Newton 
and then you get one meter per second squared, one point zero zero. And then now it's two fifty. Acceleration becomes zero point eight zero. Okay, so that is uh, what we find out. And so for the relationship that you may find will be when m increase because along along this m is increasing, then a decrease. Right, it gets smaller and smaller. So, uh, by the way, don't don't write this symbol in the exam. This is just for notes taking, uh, and also like for you to understand very quickly. Uh, however, in the exam, you have to communicate with the marker. So, please don't use this arrow for like proper explanation in the exam. So, uh, that's the relationship we can find. However. If you just talk about increase decrease, it's not something that is precise enough in physics because um, they can increase or decrease at a different rate. So we would like to construct a an equation to describe the relationship between these two variables. So what can you suggest? We can say m pro well of course we can't say m propor proportion to a because that will be increasing. So the other very likely like possibility that you may suggest maybe 1 over a instead because in this case then they will be of an inverse proportion uh, pre pretty much you have learned this in maths already so I think that should be right when m increased by 2 then acceleration decreased by 2 times right this times 2 then this divide by 2 yeah when these times three then this divided by three four divided three yeah is 1.33 similarly 50 times four is 200 four divide four is actually one so yeah this relationship should be right so you can say m equal to k over a of course k once again uh, is a arbitrary constant and yeah that that's the equation I mean in more general you can just write this equation so m proportional to 1 over a the next part is the most important in this simulation activity and that is to hypothesize the equation that is relating applied force mass and acceleration so if you try to put it a fault then uh, you should be able to think of the equation is actually f equals to m a so um, for example if you go back to the previous equation here you can rearrange the equation as in m times a just to throw the a to the other side that equal to k so that k is actually force if you try to multiply it 50 times 4 is actually 200 100 times 2 is actually 200 and so on so this is the relationship you can draw from the experiment that we just did so in this case if now the mass is that much and uh, of course the force is still 200 then we can apply this equation just by substituting so 200 is the force uh, mass is 320 and we want to find a and then we just have to use our calculator to find it out 200 divide 320 that's going to be 0 0.625 meter per second square so this is the equation that we propose and this is the answer that we estimate and predict so now I would like you to double check your result with the simulation is it really 0 0.625 alright so let's just get uh, 320 how can we get 320 okay this okay let's abuse the child <laughs> I'm just kidding um, 120 so we still have okay so here we go okay wow this girl is so muscular okay so we will get 200 and 200 Newton and yeah the mass is correct and so now the acceleration displays is 0 0.63 our answer was 0 0.625 okay I think the reason why it displays as 63 is because the roundup issue. So our answer is correct, obviously. Okay, so yeah, I think we just say yes. Okay, or you can say 
A display will be 0 0.63 okay now test 3 asks you to reset and then now set the friction to be maximum keep the object as 50 okay reset friction maximum okay interesting you can see kind of like more rough on the surface keep the object as 50 and then now okay do the you know measurement again with different apply force so 50 okay um, well nothing happened when I increase the force by the way when you try to increase it you also see the force um, I mean the friction force increase with the apply force too so when it's 50 nothing happened so let's just put down 0 for 100 nothing happened so A is still 0 150 okay still nothing happened 200 nothing happened 250 wait nothing happened really okay 300 finally okay we got something to see so then the acceleration is 2.24 okay Describe what happened when you increase the apply force from 0 to 250. Okay, then nothing. <laughs> Actually, uh, we can say the whole system did not move, all right, because the friction force also increased with the apply force. So the net force equals to zero. Okay, so that's the answer you can give. Next question is asking you uh, is the equation you proposed in test two. So the one that we said is F equals to MA while F here supposedly is referring to the applied force. So obviously it's not really valid because we, we, we said apply force, right? So we haven't considered the case where uh, friction will be involved. So uh, the new theory, however, could be if we try to think about uh, the mass, which is 50, and then also 2.24, that should equal to, wait, where is it? That should equal to the net force. 112 okay I mean from this picture you, got, you can also see that the apply force and the frictional force uh, when they you know minus them because they are in opposite direction then you can find the net force which is 112 and so it's more about the net force um, will be proportional to mass and acceleration so so I think the equation what we can write about this is uh, for this then it's not really okay so the new theory or new equation would simply be net force okay in fact the F that I wrote uh, I think here may be better if I if we write the lowercase f lowercase f will be referring to apply force and whenever we write the capital letter F then that is referred to net force equals to ma right so we can we can do a check actually so think about one one two is a net force here and then uh, we have mass to be 50 and then we try to find the a so a if you use your calculator we can find 2.24 yeah that's what we get from the simulation as well 2.24 so this is known as Newton's second law lastly test number four this is not really a test or experiment but then uh, it's a question for you to explore by yourself using the simulation so again if you haven't done that yet uh, go and check it out now and so the question is asking you Alfred said the friction is always opposite of like in terms of direction always opposite to the applied force another student Betty said friction is always opposite to the velocity instead so one said 
apply force, one set velocity. Okay, and then Charlie said both of them are correct. Okay, so who's actually correct then? Um, let's just try it out in the simulation. Okay, so obviously we have to set friction because if there's no friction, then nothing you can explore. So we can try to, oops, we can try to pull. Yeah, I mean, when when we just now when we try also like when you try to push the box, the friction will be opposite always, and then it start to move when you push you know harder to overcome the frictional force, and then yeah that's how it goes, and if you try to explore this more you'll find out oops we could okay let me just do it again right once you start to pick up the speed okay you could just leave it okay this th there's only you know frictional force but then we can also push the apply force in the same direction so just now if you pay attention the apply force and the friction are in the same direction so obviously who's wrong Alfred is obviously wrong and so Charlie is also wrong too because logically yeah Charlie said both of them are correct and if Alfred is wrong then Charlie of course is also wrong so I mean if you trust me then Betty probably should be the one that is correct all right unless no one is correct but then we want to find out whether or not friction is always opposing uh, opposite to the velocity so let's check it out again so the velocity right now is going to the right and friction is going to the other side and then just now we try to you know stop and then it's still moving to the right but then yeah friction is going to the other side and even if we try to push the other side then yeah friction is going to the left just now when the box is going to the right and what if we do the other way around yeah, it's the same when the box going to the left friction go to the right no matter which side we push yeah so it's more about velocity and so that would simply be the answer that uh, Betty is correct okay so that means friction is always opposite to a velocity uh, more precisely you can say that uh, friction is always opposing the motion or in the direction opposing the motion that's all so in this video you have learned about using the simulation to explore the relationship between the force mass and acceleration and the relationship would be net force equal to mass times acceleration and that is exactly Newton's second law I hope you enjoy learning physics with me if you do so please hit the like button now and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.